Hey everyone, it's Dashi Kins, and today I'm going to show you how to get a bokeh effect kind of like this one in your photos. Disclaimer, this is how I do it, and there are different methods that might work better for you. The camera I'm using is a Nikon D3400 with an 18-55mm to 55 millimeter lens, but you don't need this specific camera to get this effect. In case you do have a Nikon or a similar camera, I'll show you the aperture and all that stuff, so you get similar results. It's harder to get bigger bokeh with this lens, the 18 to 55 millimeter lens, but it is the most common one that people buy with the Nikon. Later on, I'll use a better one. The first important factor is location. The background can't be too close to your subject, or else this won't work. The background here is just the sky and trees, which is a great distance away. This is the same if you're using a phone. My tripod isn't high enough for the fence, and I don't feel like propping it on top of something. But you get the idea. As you can see, I have my camera a few steps away from the subject. I usually move the camera back a few steps and zoom in to get a better effect overall. With a bigger lens, such as the lens, you can get even bigger bokeh. I'm just three steps away from the webkins with little to no effort and it gets that perfect look. That's why I love this lens so much. Um, if you don't know what I'm doing now, I just moved the camera back a few steps and zoomed in on the subject. So this allows for the circles to be even bigger. So basically what I'm going to do is get a bokeh effect but with mine. And it won't be as good because I can't like mess around with stone, but um, zooming in, as you can tell, I'm currently zooming in and just trying to focus on the subject, and it's, it is definitely getting the small bokeh effect, but it's not getting, it's not getting the, the kind like the one we just saw, but it still definitely works. I have an iPhone 5S, I don't know if it'll work better if you have a better camera for your phone, like, where you can actually change the settings and stuff, but yeah, and I'd like to say that your photography doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to have bokeh to be good. That's not what makes it good, but it is something that I see a lot of people do, and I just wanted to help inform everyone how this is made, um, or my method at least, because there's different ways people do it, but this is how I do it, and I hope this is helpful.